New York is a collection of villages. The old have been in charge since before the revolution. Until the new people invaded. Well, I'm new. I've only just arrived. You are my niece, and you belong to old New York. George Russell is a power in the land. Before long, he'll put money into his pocket with every train ticket you buy. I think we should know the Russell family. We do not move in the same circles. Mama, you are encouraging. I take that as the highest praise. Well, how do you find your aunt? Seda is kind, but not clever. And Agnes is clever, but not kind. Mrs. Van Ryn and her sad sister were spying on me today. I don't know why you bother with them. I don't bother with them. I'm afraid New York can be quite challenging at first. We haven't found it so, have we, George? There is no challenge you are not equal to, my dear. We have invited Marion to live with us. She hasn't a penny. I cannot live with an Aunt Agnes's confines. You must meet the right people in the right way. Money isn't everything, Agnes. Ah. I don't understand why they have taken me in. I have a job and the fresh start that I need. I want to do something with my life. For a New Yorker, anything is possible. You are the future, Mrs. Russell. And if you are the future, then they must be the past. Well, things move faster nowadays. I hope you're not against Miss Scott. She'll disrupt things. Maybe we need a bit of disruption. Let the tournament begin. Why don't we just go outside and roll in the gutter? It will save time. Do you know Newport well, Miss Russell? The mistress is not a player in the great game. That woman is unsuitable as an acquaintance. I'll make them pay one day. How can anyone be so rich? You bastard. I may be a bastard, Mr. Thorburn, but you are a fool. And of the two, I think I know which I prefer. Thank <laughs> you.